Hi everyone, welcome back to my class. Students, this is part 2 that what are the things which you have to cover for your SSLC board examination. So again, it's a most requested video part 2. So in the video, I have told you that which are the concepts which you need to cover from the lesson acids, bases and salts. So in today's class, I'm going to completely explain about the chemistry part that what are the things you need to focus and study for your board examination from the chemistry part. So moving to the next lesson, next lesson in on Tandre, it is metals and non-metals. So metals and non-metals nalli nivu important agi kalt kol bek agi on the concept yav yav dun ta iva tina session nalli shuru maat ta adini. So firstly, you have to know about the physical properties of the metal. So yalla frequency the physical properties of metals nalli nivu tel kol bek u. Metals are sonorous, malleable, ductile and they are lustrous, high melting point, they have high boiling point, they are the good conductors of heat and electricity. So Iriti, I have taught you lot of points about the physical properties of metal. If you want, I will give the link in the description box below you can go and check the description box link to know more about the physical properties of metal so the next concept which you have to learn from this lesson is chemical properties of metal so chemical properties of metal and the hell daga is two concept and then you focus mark or beko so you have the concept chemical properties of metal and you think or beko on so firstly you have to understand about what happens when metal react with the air see when metals are burned in the presence of oxygen so they give rise to metal oxide. So it is one activity could anu maadidini. So I have told you in the previous class also. So for example, see, let us take an example of metal. So let us now take the example magnesium. So magnesium and oxygenally burn maadaga. When magnesium react in the presence of oxygen, what happens? We get magnesium oxide. So this magnesium oxide is a metal oxide. So these are some of the basic equation. So ye na agate chemical properties of metal and the hell daga is two things na ni wo tel kor beko. So next you have to know about the amphoteric oxide, a very important concept. So amphoteric oxides na usually examinationally repeated agi kheel tel tarre. So idhar chemical equations kora thumba important. So what is meant by amphoteric oxide? See amphoteric oxides are the metal oxides which have the capacity to react with both the acid and base as a result of it it will produce salt and water salt matu water anna produce maadate nimma textbook nalli ondu example kottidare that is aluminium oxide al2o3 ee aluminium oxide it will react with the acid and it will also react with the base naoh so acid jithenu react agutte base jithenu kuda react agutte so when it react with the acid it form it forms salt so the salt formed is AlCl2 that is aluminium chloride along with the formation of water. So there is formation of salt and water. So amphoteric oxides and it is metal oxide which have the capacity to react with both the acid as well as salt. So when it react with the acid and salt the product formed is the salt and water. So very important concept. So next you have to understand about what happens when metal react with the water. So e conceptually you will learn about what happens when metal react with the cold water, metal react with the hot water and even when metal react with the steam that is in the form of gas. So either a basis one the diagram either, that is action of steam on metal. I hope ni mel rogu koda e one the diagram tum mane parchi either because it's a very important diagram from the lesson metals and non-metals. Okay, so what happened when uh, metal react with water on a concept koda ni mge gotir beku and then what happen when metallic oxide or metal oxide react with the water? See metal oxide react with the water again. I'll give you a very simple example. Let us take an example of magnesium oxide. So magnesium oxide when we burn magnesium, a magnesium white powder. So that is what we call it as magnesium oxide. So magnesium oxide in a water now mix maadaga we get the magnesium hydroxide that is MgOH2 so you a MgOH2 on the base okay litmus paper test could have marched in him and I told you very clearly metallic oxides are basic in nature they turn the red litmus paper blue okay so because when we mix the magnesium oxide in water we get magnesium hydroxide which is a base 
So this concept is very very important and you also have to know about what happened when metal react with the salt solution and what happened when metal react with the nitric acid. So nitric acid baginu kuda sakastu bari questions na kel tare. Why when metal react with the nitric acid hydrogen gas is not liberated? What is the reason for it? And they will also ask nitric acid is called as strong oxidizing agent. Give the reason. So ee rithi prashne gala na kel tare. So all these concepts are very very important. Okay. I hope you understood. So moving to next you also have to learn about the reactivity series which is given in the page number 45. Page number 45 leave on the column koti dare yaudu high reactivity then a medium reactivity series nali yaudu de and the low reactivity series nali yav yav a metal ide enta you must know. Okay and then very important concept formation of sodium chloride as well as the magnesium chloride. Yerade formation ide 3 to 4 marks te keel tare formation of sodium chloride or the formation of magnesium chloride you must learn both the formation along with their electron dot structure okay so three to four marks ke e concept na keel tare in my examination ali keel odadre so moving to next ionic compounds are known the concept so what is meant by ionic compounds what is meant by covalent compound and the differentiation kuda keel on the chances irate see ionic compounds are the compounds formed when there is transfer of electrons takes place for example, like sodium chloride form maduvaga, or magnesium chloride form maduvaga, there is transfer of electrons due to which an ionic compound is formed. Okay. Whereas the covalent compounds are formed by sharing of electrons. Carbon and its compounds are basically you all have learnt about the covalent compounds. So very important concept, ionic compounds. And along with that, you have to learn about the properties of ionic compounds. Nalakku property ide, nalakku property na complete agi kalth kolbeku. Adhra solubility agir bodhu, conductivity agir bodhu, melting point and boiling point agir bodhu. So all these properties very very important from the ionic compounds. Thumba na important, easy agi kalth kolbeku. If you want explanation regarding any of this concept, please check the playlist in my channel. You will get the link of all the videos. Okay. So next moving to the next concept from this lesson, extraction of metal. So extraction of metals given daga, you have to learn about the extraction of metals in the low reactivity series, middle reactivity series and the high reactivity series. Thumbani important. When we look at the metals which are in the middle reactivity series, so middle reactivity series early we go for roasting and calcination. So what is meant by roasting? Thumba important concept exam ali keel tare roasting and calcination district level question papers ali keel dare state preparatory ali kuda keel dare very very important concept. So roasting is nothing but here we are using the sulfide ore. So sulfide ores are converted into its oxide form by heating strongly in the presence of excess of air. So roasting will do for sulfide ore, we heat it in the excess of air, okay. Whereas calcination, calcination is done for carbonate, C for C, calcination for carbonate. So carbonate ores are converted into its metal oxide by heating strongly in the limited supply of air, we call it as calcination. So, thumba na important concept, ni wo idhe ke example vari di textbook na li kotti dare zinc sulfide and zinc carbonate. When it is heated in the presence of oxygen, in agate we get zinc oxide in both the cases. Okay. So this comes in the middle reactivity series. And moving to the next concept, electrolytic refining. So I would also add one more important topic here. I left it is thermite process. See, thermite process is very, very important concept. So this thermite process is basically done to join the railway tracks or to join the broken machine parts. Okay, here the iron oxide is combined with the aluminium. So both things are heated. So heat mardaga in agate we get the molten iron. So out of which we uh, join the railway tracks or the broken machine parts. So the process we call it as thermite process. For, I forgot to mention here it's a very important concept. So next electrolytic refining of copper diagram go tirveko totally in this lesson. So three diagrams are there. One is the action of steam on metal and the second, second one is the electrolytic refining of copper and testing the salt solution. So these three diagrams are very important from this lesson. Okay. And apart from this, the last concept which you all have to focus and study is corrosion and its prevention. 
corrosion andre yeno so it is that damaging the metal it's a process of damage of metal so corrosion concept first lesson allo kuda ide so in this lesson also it is there corrosion corrosion and its prevention so prevention bandaga you must know about how do we prevent the uh, corrosion so by greasing by oiling by galvanization by alloying by painting so idralli baruvanta kelavondu activities na kuda nivu focus maadi artha maadkolbeku very important all the activities from the lesson metals and non metals very very important okay so finally alloys alloys are the homogeneous mixture that the homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or a metal with the non metal so it's a definition for alloy alloy concept gotirbeku and in your textbook they have given the alloy of uh, the bronze the alloy of bronze they have given and alloy of brass they have given and alloy of solder they have given so istara ondu alloys nimge gotirbeku so it is given it is given in the textbook is two concept gotide nimge almost you get 8 marks maximum 8 marks you score maadabodu is two concept perfect agidre so these are the concept which you have to learn from the lesson metals and non metals so now i'll explain what are the important concept which you have to learn from the lesson carbon and its compounds So the first concept from the carbon and its compounds lesson is why does carbon does not form C4 plus cation and C4 minus anion? Tumma ne important concept ya ke anta reason gotir beko nimge because carbon is having four valence electron. So for the nucleus of the carbon, it is difficult to donate four electrons or to receive four electrons. Adi kine carbon covalent bond na form madte. So ir even do question related two points in my textbook nali. I think first or second page nali kotti thare please concentrate and read this concept which will be often asked in the examination okay so next question catenation hagu tetravalency concept gotirbeku see because of the property of catenation and tetravalency carbon can form the longest chain so it may be straight chain branch chain cyclic chain ellano it is because of the catenation and tetravalency okay tetravalency andre eno tetra and the four see carbon has having four valence electrons so it can bond with four other atoms of carbon or monovalent atoms so this property bage neevu kalthkolbeku okay so next homologous series bage neevu tilkolbeku homologous series bage bere bere riti prashne galanna keltirtare simple agi neevu nenpale ittkoli homologous series andre they are the compounds which have the same chemical properties okay but they differ by the ch2 group so ch2 group in the differ agutte for example nimge alkane alkene alkyne ee two groups of one uh, formula na mix maadi idalli homologous series follow maaduvanta yavadadru one uh, compounds na huduki andre you have to first look for the same properties that means the compound which have the same properties Ad, either it may be alkane alkene athwa yenu anta neevu nodbeku so nodi next for example iga c2h6 ide so C two H four इधे, C two H, C three H eight इधे इंद्रे, so ये येरे डाली homologous series याव दुने follow मारता है दें, you have to look for this two, because C two H six and C three H eight both are alkanes, they have same chemical properties, and for from C two C three one दु carbon difference इधे, H six and H eight येरे डू hydrogen difference इधे, so it is differing by C H two group. Understand? So homologous series concept बगे complete आगे ओत कोली and then you have to know about saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Difference केल बहुत दो. Examplely, what is meant by saturated hydrocarbon? What is meant by unsaturated hydrocarbon? Write the difference between them. अंत केल तारे. So saturated, unsaturated बगे मात्र डुवागा. See saturated are alkanes, unsaturated are alkenes and alkynes. ओके कंप्लीट आगे एला कॉन्सेप्ट बे नान एक्सप्लेन दीनि वन अगेन आम टेली इफ यू वांट एनी डेफिनेशन एस्पेषली नेक्स्ट फर्दर कॉन्सेप्ट वित् नानु जिफ्न जो एक्सप्लेन दीनि निम्हे यदा इमेज रिलेटेड है फ्रम आल दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इमेज जो नान एक्सप्लेन दीनि वीडियोसन यू कैन चकउट द प्ले लिस्ट आंड गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो इफ यू डोट नो एनी कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो आलके अरे दे आर् साचुरेटेड आलकी अरे दे आर् अनसाचुरेटेड आलकी आंड अलकाइन So, examinely, they may ask you to write the difference between saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Atwa, they may also ask you to write the difference between alkenes, alkene, alkynes. You must know their general formula. Alkenes general formula is CnH 
टू एन प्लस टू एंड आल के इन से सी एन हैच टू एन एंड आल का इन से सी एन हैच टू एन माइनस टू सो तुम माने इम्पोर्टेंट ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू हैव टू लर्न सो नेक्स्ट मूविंग टू फंक्शनल ग्रुप सो इधर अल्ल इधर आई थिंक आल के नाल की नाल का इन कल्प कर बे कादरी यू आल्सो हैव टू नो द वर्ड रूट्स ऑफ इट सो वर्ड रूट्स ना ना एक्सप्लेन मार दी नी निम्गे ऑलरेडी सो फॉर्मूलास बरी बे कादरे वर्ड रूट्स आर यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न द वर्ड रूट्स टू नो आर टू गिव द नेम फॉर द कंपाउंड ओके सो इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम मीथ सो मीथ मींस इट विल बी हैविंग ओनली वन कार्बन एटम देन ईथ देन प्रॉप प्रॉप इज 3 ईथ इज 2 देन ब्यूट देन पेंट हेक्स हेप्ट सो इस तो कल्प कुंडे साकु नी वो वर्ड रूट सो यू कैन राइट एनी फॉर्मूलास ओके सो मीट रेप्रेजेंट्स विथ वन कार्बन ईथ टू प्रॉप थ्री ब्यूट फोर पेंट फाइव हेक्स सिक्स एंड हेप्ट इज सेवेन सो दिस वर्ड रूट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू राइट द नेम्स ऑफ बोथ सैचुरेटेड एंड अनसैचुरेटेड अंदर आल्किन आल्किन अल्काइन आगे बोधु अथवा व्हेन यू आर राइटिंग द नेम इन द फंक्शनल ग्रुप आल्सो इट इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट टू नो द वर्ड रूट्स ओके सो मूविंग टू द फंक्शनल ग्रुप्स फ्रॉम फंक्शनल ग्रुप यू हैव टू लर्न अबाउट द एल्कोहल फंक्शनल ग्रुप एल्डिहाइड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एंड कीटोन सो ई वन अगेन रिपीट निम्बे लेसन यहाँ स्ट्रक्चरल फार्मुला बरियो गे सो यू फंक्षनल ग्रूप गे यू कैन कमेंट इन द कमेंट से सो इन द अपकमिंग क्लास ई टेक इट पर्सनली एंड टीच यू हौ टू रईट द नेम्स स्ट्रक्चरल फार्मुला आंड एलेक्ट्रॉन डाट स्ट्रक्चरल फार्मुला फॉर् द फंक्षन ग्रूप खंडी हेकोती ओके सो आलोहल आलिहैड कॉबॉक्सिक आसिड कीटोन सो इू फंक्षनल ग्रूप गे ई होप यू आल हव नोन वाट इस सफि आफ इट सो अंदर मोलिकुलर फार्मुला ना ऐन बरती केमिकल नेमल ऐन बरती फॉर् एक्सापल आलोहल स्ट्रक्चरल फार्मुला आंड मोलिकुलर फार्मुला वि रेप्रेजेंट बै ओ हेच आलिहैडे वि रेप्रेजेंट बै सी हेच ओ सी हेच ओ एंड कॉबॉक्सिक आसिडे वि रेप्रेजेंट बै सी ओ ओ हेच कीटोन वि रेप्रेजेंट बै डबल बॉंड ओ ओके कॉबन आटम के वि अटैच डबल बॉंड ओ दट रेप्रेजेंट द कीटोन and alcohol carboxylic acid and aldehyde always occur at occur at the end whereas ketone occur in between okay so these many concepts are very very important to score good marks from this lesson so next moving to a major concept of this lesson so sorry but definition part antane helbodu definition and even though this definitions are very important and very very easy also to learn सो आक्सीडेशन बे तक सो आक्सीडेशन निम्हे मूर् रीति केल्तर ऐदर दे मे आस्क यू टू रईट वाट इज मेन बै आक्सीडेशन और रईट द एक्सप्लेनेशन आफ् कन्वर्शन आफ् एथनाल इंटू एथनो आसिड अंत कौन रईट द एक्सप्लेनेशन आफ् कन्वर्शन आफ् आलोहल टू का आलोहल टू कॉबॉक्सिक आसिड अंत कथनाल टू एथनो आसिड अथवा आलोहल टू कॉबॉक्सिक आसिड एरू कूड़ा वंदे ओके अली केमिकल नेम को यर फंक्षनल ग्रूप जो रेप्रेजेंट मीन ओके सो दैट आल दी थ्री कॉन्सेप्ट आर् सेम आंसर इज सेम फॉर् दी थ्री ओके सो नेक्स्ट मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट अडिशन रियाक्षन अथवा हईड्रोजनेशन अंत केतर अडिशन रियाक्षन अरे ऐन अथवा हईड्रोजनेशन अरे ऐन एरू कूड़ा सेम आंसर सो इधर इंडस्ट्रियल अप्लिकेशन कूड़ा केल्तर इट्स वेरी इंपारटेंट प्लीज लर्न एंड नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट सब्सटिट्यूशन रियाक्षन प्रीवियस इयर एक्सामेशन फै मार्क वो क्वेश्चन केद्व सो एक्सप्लेन कंबर्शन रियाक्षन आंड सब्सटिट्यूशन रियाक्षन बै टेकिंग मीथेन आज एन एक्सापल अंत कट्स अ वेरी सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट सी नहीं सो ई सारी ई फॉट वन मोर इयर यू आलो हव टू लर्न अबउट द कंबर्शन सो कंबर्शन इज अ वेरी इंपारटेंट कॉन्सेप्ट सो कंबर्शन अरे ऐन सो कॉबन बर्न इन द प्रेन्स आफ् आक्सीजन इन आल इट्स एलेक्ट्रोपि फॉम carbon burn in the presence of oxygen to give carbon dioxide water heat and light so that is what we call it as conversion okay so conversion with the substitution reaction and explain maadi definition only two two sentence by taking methane as an example anta keldaga so conversion kelagade kuda methane example ide andre c when ch4 that is methane when it burn in the presence of oxygen what is been formed anta barbeku carbon dioxide heat and light Similarly, substitution ali ena agate ni bu methane chloride na hydrogen dite substitute mar daga we get methyl chloride. Okay, so there chlorine atom is substituted by hydrogen in substitution reaction. So five marks ke keldru tumma ne simple question. 
ಸೊ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ವರ್ಡನ್ನು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದರು ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೀಥೇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕಂಬರ್ಷನಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕೀಪ್ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ವೈಲ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ ಸೊ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೋಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಸೋಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ವರಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಂಥ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಈಗ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಟೂ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾನು ನಿಮಗೆ ಸೊ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸೋಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಜ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ ಕ್ಲೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋಪ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ನಾನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ತುಂಬ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಸೊ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಸೋಪ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಟರ್ಜೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಹಾಗೂ ಕ್ಲೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೋಪ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಲೆಸನ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೆಮಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಫೋರ್ ಲಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ಲಾ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಗೆ ಕೇಳುವಂಥ ಚಾನ್ಸಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಡಾಬರಿನಸ್ ಟಯಾಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ನ್ಯೂಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟೇವ್ಸ್ ಮೆಂಡಲಿವ್ಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಲಾ ಆರ್ ದ ಮಾಡ್ರನ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಲಾ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ಲಾಸ್ನ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಬೇಕು ಡಾಬರಿನ ಟ್ರಯಾಡ್ ಲಾನಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ನ ಕೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಮೂರು ಟ್ರಯಾಡ್ನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಬೇಕು ಸಿ ದೇ ಮೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ಯಾವುದೋ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರಯಾಡ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ನ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಏಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ನ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಡೋನೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ನ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಾರಿ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಐಡೆಂಟಿಫೈ ದಿಸ್ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಡಾಬರ್ನಿನ ಟ್ರಯಾಡ್ ಲಾ ಏನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ದ ಅಟಾಮಿಕ್ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆವರೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಅದರ್ ಟೂ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೀವೇನು ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಝೆಡ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟೂ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಮಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಾಬರ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಟ್ರಯಾಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಸೊ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನ್ಯೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟೇವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನ್ಯೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟೇವ್ಸ್ನ ಟೇಬಲ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತಿರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟೇವ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತಾನೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೊ ಎವ್ರಿ ಏತ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಲಾ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಏನು ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಲಾನಲ್ಲಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟೇವ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟೇವ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಸ್ ಲಾ ವಾಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಶಿಯಮ್ ಸೊ ವೆರ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ಜಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಈ ಪುಟ್ ಟೂ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಸ್ಲಾಟ್ ಸೊ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ರಾಂಗ್ ವೇ ಸೊ ದೋರ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ನ ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಲಿಮಿಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲಾ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಟೇವ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೆಂಡಲಿವ್ಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಲಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ರನ್
ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾರ್ಬನ್ಗೆ ಬಂದಾಗ ಇದು ಶೇರ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ನೈಟ್ರೋಜನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಲೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಬದಲು ಗೈನ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಅಥವಾ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ನಾವು ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಟು ರೈಟ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಟು ಬಾಟಮ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದ ಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಟು ಲೂಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಲೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದ ಮೆಟಾಲಿಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ increases down the group and decreases from left to, to right so losing property stop agutte gaining property increase agutte where in the non metallic character which is also called as electro negativity okay so these two things id eradu gottide nimge very easy to answer for any question which they give in the examination okay so if you want this concept again please check the uh, check it in the playlist if you do not understand over that once again you can write in the comment section i'll definitely teach this concept for you and moving to the next concept idu tilkolbekagirudu 1 to 20 elements name na tilkolbeku very important 1 to 20 elements nalle kodtare nimge so you have to know the name of the elements you have to know their atomic number you have to know their valency valence electron and also the electronic configuration is to nimge gottirbeku is to gottidre along with metallic character and non metallic character it is very easy for you to answer the entire section of the periodic classification of elements and last video dallu kuda nan nimge uh, when i was solving the question answers i thought to how to write the periodic table so neevu ee ondu method anna kalthkolbeku so is to new table anna kalthkondre so yava element yava period alli ide yava group alli ide it's very easy to identify so this please you learn this much periodic table so you must know first group second group 13th to 18th group and you also should know four periods very important is to concept gotide nimge periodic class classification of elements is very very easy so e concept alli yavudadru concept nimge gottilla andre do write in the comment section definitely i am going to help you with that so i hope nimge naan heliruvanta ella concept u artha agide ankotini ishtu concept na chemistry nalli complete agi neevu study madidre definitely you can score out of out in the chemistry okay i hope this session was useful for you if you find this session is useful kindly like and share maximum with your friends and thank you so much for watching in my next video i start solving the question paper that is part 3